So here we have the whiz block mounting plate. Then we also have a mounting plate for a battery that'll let you mount this on top and then that would go on top of the whiz block. Now the first thing we need to do is remove this protective film from both of the plates. So what this kit allows you to do is mount a whiz block and a battery into one of these enclosures. Now these enclosures usually come with one of these grid plates and you would mount the whiz block and battery to this grid plate using this kit here. So the first thing we'll need to do is figure out the orientation. So if you look at the whiz block, it has four holes and this hole here is a bit offset. So we need to make sure that we match the holes on the acrylic plate here. So you can see here that it matches. Now if you lay the whiz block on top of there and, it, and the holes aren't matching, that's because the plate is upside down and you'll just have to flip it over. Once you have the orientation figured out, from there we will insert the smaller standoffs there. And you can just hand tighten them to start off and go and do that for all four of them. And here we have all four on and we can see that the holes line up like we want. So now that we have the standoffs for the whiz block on, we now have the little bit bigger standoffs that are going to be for the battery sled. So let's go ahead and put those on now. And we'll just start off by hand tightening them. And there we now have them all hand tightened to the acrylic plate. So then after that, you're probably going to want to grab a pair of pliers or something and tighten them the rest of the way. Just make sure they're nice and snug, but don't over tighten and break them. So the whiz block will sit on there like so, and you're going to want the whiz block facing down in most cases. That USB-C port is going to be facing down. This will depend on your enclosure and how you're orienting things, but in my case here, I want this facing down from the top of the enclosure so it'll fit. So what we need to do now is figure out which hole, which two holes we're going to mount to the grid plate. So you just need to figure out your orientation where where you want the placement to be on the grid plate and you want to make sure you're not too far to the right or too far to the left because if you mount it there you won't be able to fit it into the enclosure so now that we have that figured out the next step is we're going to use these spacers and these two longer screws that are included in the kit. First we'll put the screw into one of the holes and then we'll put a spacer through the screw and then we'll put that in the hole that we're planning on mounting it to. We'll grab a screwdriver and start screwing it on. Now make sure you don't tighten it all the way. You want to leave enough slack so you can lift it up so we can work on the other hole next. So for the other hole, we'll put the screw through and lift that up a little bit. Then we'll put our spacer through the screw and we'll mount that into place. So once we have the screw at the hole that we want, we can go ahead and screw it down and we can go ahead and tighten it all the way now. Alright, so once we have that in place, we can go ahead and mount our whiz block. And we'll use these little screws to mount the whiz block to the plate. Let's go ahead and do all four screws and that's in place now. Now we can go and grab our battery sled and the kit also comes with a Velcro strap that we'll have to put through the holes on the battery sled. 
So grab the Velcro strap and just fit it through the hole and pull it all the way through. And then we can go ahead and push it through the other side. Now the battery sled sits flush against the rack device. So before we put that on, we need to make sure we install our antenna cables because we won't be able to access those once we install the battery sled. So with the antennas on, we can go and put the battery sled on top and screw it into place. And there we have it. We have the whiz block mounted and a battery sled on top of that. With that mounted, we can go ahead and place a battery on top of that and snug it into place with the Velcro strap. Now there will likely be some excess Velcro strap material, so you may want to cut that with a pair of scissors or something. That'll do it for this video with the setup instructions for the WizBlock mounting kit plus battery sled. If you'd like to get one of these kits and help support the channel, I'll include a link to the shop in the video description below. Thank you all and have a good one.